Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman here, and uh, I am on remote studios in the garden level of the Holman Studio facility. Um, right now, though, we're going to spend a little time with Lori Richard, good friend, owner and CEO of Edge Partnerships in uh, Lansing, Michigan. And uh, Lori, it's always good to spend time with you. How are you doing? Oh, good morning. It's a great morning here in Lansing, and uh, glad to be spending some time with you to kick the day off. It is. So let's let's talk a little bit about uh, coming out of, I, I guess, COVID as much as anything. Maybe a better place to start, though, is to remind everybody what Edge does. Oh, absolutely. We're a strategic marketing communications agency with offices in downtown Lansing, with satellites in uh, Chicago, and recently opened in Marquette. Um, so we uh, do everything from client strategy for the best marketing and uh, public relations, to full implementation of that strategy from social media, digital, uh, B2B, B2C, all that good stuff. So uh, and our design team makes everything look amazing. So uh, you know, it's kind of it's kind of interesting because uh, you you have Chicago, Lansing, and Marquette, and it's <laughs> that's about that's about how I rank those cities because I love Marquette. Oh yeah, Marquette's just a dynamic city, and they just embrace you. Um, they were looking for some good marketers up there from everywhere from healthcare to the art community, because as we know, as the weather warms up, a lot of folks uh, gravitate to our beautiful northern Michigan and upper peninsula, including people from Chicago and all around the, the world, essentially. So having our presence in Marquette, we just kicked off their uh, first Thursday. It's a walking art tour, uh, and we were a proud sponsor of that. And we actually have a shingle uh, right downtown. So we are there to um, to help and partner with the businesses in the Upper Peninsula. Well, we're going to have to we're going to have to coordinate a trip up there because that's that is actually uh, Jeff and I are up there a couple times a year. And that that is one of my favorite trips. It really is. Oh, absolutely. All right. So let's talk a little bit about coming out of COVID. Uh, what's happening with you and even uh, throw in your clients. Uh, is it kind of a smooth transition? Do they feel back? Um, I, I don't know that it, the whole back to normal, I think there, it's a whole new, it's a whole new day. We emerged uh, with, uh, it's almost kind of like coming out of a cave and uh, the light shining and evolution has occurred. And so our clients are, have evolved as well. Um, a lot of hybrid uh, work uh, arrangements, including, you know, edge as well. We've always been able to work anywhere. We just need our computer and some Wi-Fi. Um, but, uh, and the, the challenges are, there's a big focus on mental health. I just served on a department of labor, uh, uh, task force on mental health issues in the workplace. So there's a, there is a, uh, there, people are concerned. They're concerned about their talent, um, and keeping their talent and then being able to attract new talent, which is why I came on today. We uh, just announced a new addition to our team and that's number three we've hired during COVID. Um, because our workload has not slowed down. The demand for um, communicate, good communications has never been higher. So uh, we're, we're I'm glad to welcome Tiffany Hall to our team as she's kind of my right-hand woman taking care of um, everything so I can do my job the best I can. So she's the new executive coordinator at your company. Tell yes, us a little yep. bit about her. So Tiffany's background, um, and, and I asked her uh, that it was okay to share, she directed the uh, Gildan Woods uh, daycare centers throughout the Mid Michigan area. And for 15 years, she was involved in daycare. And during COVID, um, she, she lost three family members and it really changed her perspective on what she wants out of her life. She has two younger kids and decided she wanted a job that wasn't quite as demanding. Um, it's not, uh, and to be able to work, you know, at home when needed or in the office and, uh, and she came to me with a great skill set and and just wanted a very different culture than we know our daycare and our senior caregivers. There's a lot of pressure on them uh, as frontline workers. So um, we're welcoming her so much. And she's been such an asset to our team. Well, you're always building your team with good people, as a matter of fact. So that's uh, that's helpful. A along those lines, tell me when you go to the Chicago's of the world where it's very competitive getting people and you go to the Marquette's where it's sometimes a numbers game. Are there people available? Are, are you able to get folks in, in both those uh, facilities? Yes. And it's very much the culture thing. And being able to 
work autonomously, but then have a, a team to fall back on and support. Um, so yeah, I've been able to, to staff that in Chicago is very different. And people say, well, there's so many big agencies in Chicago, how do you compete? Well, there, I don't know if it's COVID or just, you know, the evolution of agencies is that people really want a partner and, and the big agencies have their role. I, I don't take anything away from them, but that small, smaller personal where, you know, the CEO literally helps, you know, and works on your projects. Um, and, you know, you get the A team every single time. So uh, very different environments that we, we work in and partner with great clients and um, it all works. Well, Laurie Bouchard, owner, CEO of Edge Partnerships with offices. I always want to do that uh, Buzz Lightyear, you know, and <laughs> infinity and beyond. Uh, Chicago, Marquette, uh, Lansing. I hope I haven't left any place out. Uh, I will obviously see you on the island for the Detroit uh, Policy Conference. Oh, yes. I'm looking forward to it, to, to reunite with all of our good friends. Yeah, there you go, in person. All right, Laurie, thanks so much for spending time with us. You've been uh, watching this on the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Lewis.